Hey guys, me like big boom here and welcome to Unturned 23.5, a new update for Unturned 3.0 that added a new map to Unturned in both arena and survival modes. It is an expansion of the grease map building on the grease environment though still being an entirely new map. The map is called Cyprus and it's available in arena and survival mode. Now I've tried playing this map on arena mode before but the servers keep crashing because it can't really handle the amount of players that are trying to play on this new map. So. I'm gonna have to play it on survival mode to show you the locations and unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to give you some first-hand exploration of the new map uh, by playing arena which is what I was originally intending to do so we're gonna hop into single player and explore the map that way now it is an island map and compared to the other island map that we have PEI this map is more in favor of land PEI is about 50% water 50% land this one has a lot more surface for you to build some bases which is always nice now for today's video I think a good length would be exploring three different locations so let's start by exploring Paphos then we'll move to a smaller location like Larnaca camp and then we'll move up to a military location like the Agros military base all right, we have just arrived at Paphos, what appears to be the biggest civilian location in the game. Now, upon first glance, I was thinking that Paphos was going to be a location not really worth visiting if you're looking for weaponry. However, I did just see this building here, which looks like some kind of science facility or a police station, and this seems promising for finding weapons. Now, there are other buildings like this, but these are just your regular homes. There's a post office over there. There's bigger homes over there. There's a gas station over there, which would be useful for gas tanks. Um, but otherwise, a relatively barren location. Now, this police station does have a fuel tank here, so it is a place to refuel on top of the fuel tanks that you already have at the gas station over there. We're here in the parking lot. And look at that. This guy's got a SWAT helmet. I wonder if we can actually find that hat in here. Let's check it out. So we did just find a viper. Very nice. So right off the bat, you can find weaponry in Paphos, which is always nice. So you will be able to find weapons in here that will help you uh, tackle something like the military base easier. I mean, you wouldn't want to walk into the military base with just a hockey stick, so it is nice to have some other locations where you can find decent weaponry. So with all these civilian ammunition boxes, I'm able to refill the ammo of my Viper, so I essentially have more ammo than I would ever need to explore a location like the Agros military base. And this is not a bad haul for looting a place like Pathos. So, definitely worth checking out. That, uh, that police station... Definitely has some good stuff. It kind of doubles as a prison and a police station at the same time. So, with Paphos done, let's go ahead and move down to Larnica Camp. We've arrived at Larnica Camp. Now, this is an interesting one. It appears to be some kind of survivor camp that has now been overrun by zombies, so clearly their security has not been the best. Now, typically in survivor camps like this, you can find anything from clothes to ammunition to weapons to food to anything because it is a survivor camp. It has everything that people would need to survive. So in these tents, we have clothes. It also does contain a full fuel tank, so this is a possible stop for refueling. So, I mean, it's not too bad. I did find a good backpack, which is better than the backpack I already have. No, it's the same. The duffel bags and the day packs are the same. I could have sworn that the duffel bags were longer in the storage that they had, but I will take the black duffel bag just because it's more difficult to see. But regardless, that is an example of what these camps look like. Let's go ahead and move over to the Agros military base. See if we can find some decent weaponry around here. I also want to see what this tunnel is like. It's right in the middle of the map. It goes through the central kind of mountain, if you can even call it that, the central hill in the middle of the map and it does look like it collapsed maybe there's some loot in here oh no is this a chariot <laughs> two chariots oh, this one's not valuable <laughs> so wow an unexpected location for sure wow now this is definitely going to be a place of interest when you are playing on this map 
a wonderful location to visit. I don't know if you guys have played much of Washington on survival servers or even on your own. These like military convoys are super nice to visit because they're not marked locations. Not very many people visit them on servers. And considering that this is in a tunnel, it's going to be very easy to loot this location. If you're looting this location, you just got to make sure that nobody comes from there and nobody comes from there. As long as you clear the actual tunnel itself, I mean, you'll be able to loot this freely. You'll be able to get good stuff. I found a detonator, which on uh, PvP servers is an absolute must. You need it to raid bases. You need it to be the king of the server. I don't think there's a way to actually get through this tunnel. If, if I can fit through here, then yes. No, so yeah, you cannot drive your car through this tunnel. Either way, doesn't matter which direction you're going. You could drive your motorcycle through here, which is a benefit of the motorcycle. Oh yeah, no problem. Nope, oh, maybe there is a problem. Oh dang, all right, hold on. No, don't eat that. Okay, so kill the zombies first, then you can drive your motorcycle through. Make sure you're missing that tire when you go drive through this. But yes, it is possible to drive through with a motorcycle. And now that we've made it past the military convoy, we got some new loot, we got a detonator, we got a new attachment, we got some new military knives. Very useful location. I mean, are you kidding me? You are completely covered. You are, you have access to military loot. Definitely a location worth visiting. Now we are making our way over to the Agros military base. And now that we have some solid weaponry, this will, oh, we have dead zone signs and we have dead trees, which means that we are gonna have to loot up more than we already have to visit this location. Gas mask on, motorcycle being driven. Let's move on in. And if that is a drivable helicopter, it's not. I think the windows are solid. Uh-oh. All right, all the zombies have been cleared out. We have ourselves a grenade, some new military magazines, and the magazine for that new lockdown gun, that semi-automatic gun. Very cool, another grenade, always useful. Ooh, vertical grip, put that on. Lots of attachments, always useful. Let's see if we can find any actual weapons. Let's go inside this little Chippewa helicopter here. Uh, nothing, nothing. Is this some kind of underground? Hold the phone! I think this location is a lot bigger than one would originally assume. Let's check out the top locations first. Lots of grenades. Grenades are always useful to have. We have a few more things to take a look at over here. Looks like a secondary entrance to the bunker. No new weapons yet, but we basically have like every attachment in the game. Alright, moving down. Let's kill some zombies. We have cough syrup, some bandages, bunkers with raw explosives, also useful, especially considering that we have a detonator now. Uh, splint, lots of medical supplies, more grenade, MRE in here, military ammunition, very nice. Bipod, add that to the list of attachments that we have. Man, we are decking ourselves out in military gear. Now that is a weapon that is worth picking up for sure. There we go. The Grizzly, the classic Grizzly. And we have all the attachments we would ever need for it. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up that eight times scope earlier. But yes, it would be perfect on this. I just have to find it. That is awesome. <laughs> Gosh, more attachments. And the new lockdown that we have several magazines for. Let's drop this. We don't need that anymore. Let's pick up that attachment, that attachment. Sheesh, I'm not joking when we have basically every attachment in the game. 
Let's put that. Actually, this is semi-auto. That doesn't matter. Wow. More. We got the Chimera, which is the new... Holy cow. The new kind of Swiss Square looking thing. What? Wow. And a 16 times for our Grizzly. And a... a oh my gosh. Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna drop like all of this. L let me just okay. <laughs> okay, now that everything's on the floor, let me pick up what's necessary, like the detonator. Like the <laughs> chimera. Wow. Alright. Now this Lancer is the new rocket launcher. This was added in the Grease update, I'm pretty sure. Um, I haven't actually gotten a chance to use it, though. I mean, just look at this. Now, this is, like, the competitor to the RPG. Or, I guess it's just called the Rocket Launcher. This is the Lancer Rocket. The rocket flies much more straight and much further and much quicker. And, uh, obviously more damage as well. So, it's just better than the RPG in nearly every way. It does take a unique rocket. You can't just take the rocket launcher rockets and put it in there. Which is kind of unfortunate. You can't put your own scope on it. <laughs> I do like the Lancer scope, though. I wonder what that would look like on another gun, like the Grizzly. Lancer scope. Oh my god. It's so dumb. I love it. So it seems like most of the weapons that you'll ever find on this map are gonna be in the underground bunker. Gosh, and this new gun. Just instant. And very, very little grip, or uh, very little uh, recoil. <laughs> I said grip when I saw the vertical grip, which is going to make the recoil even better. Wow. Is that another detonator? Or no, that was just... No, yeah, th so we got two detonators. That must have been from a zombie. Wow, so this is like... This is the place to loot, for sure. I mean, this is where you find every attachment you could ever dream of. All the ammunition for all the military weapons in the game. And, I mean, look at this. We've got a Grizzly. I mean, these are legendary weapons. It literally, yeah, these are legendary weapons. We've got an epic weapon, legendary ranged weapon, and rare. I mean, there is some serious stuff in this location. So, once you do get your gas mask and your filters, um, just stop by this location and like You're good. Luckily. I mean, I'm sure you can find those things relatively easy Especially by visiting that military convoy in the tunnel and then with locations like Paphos and that in that uh, police station You've also got all the fire stations around and all the other locations You do have to work a little bit to be able to get to a location like this, but once you do You are up there. I mean if I was on a PvP server right now I would have everything I would ever need to absolutely decimate a player on the server. Um, I would actually be a little nervous walking around with this much stuff. I would immediately start building my base and uh, put these items away where they're safe. But yeah, that's a, that's a little sneak peek of the new Cypress map. Very cool. I think this map is the perfect size for kind of co-op gameplay. I don't think this map would thrive very well on 24 player servers. This is definitely a smaller scale map that fits somewhere in between a map like PEI and a map like Washington. Overall, very exciting. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the new Cypress map. But for now, that is all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And do all that gibberish because me like big boom is out. Oh, 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 oh,